Well, the stunts have been outrageous. One mayor swimming with sharks, another one jumping into the frigid waters of Lake Superior, all to get Google's attention. Cities across the country are vying to be the test site for Google's experiment with fiber internet. It's 100 times the speed of the fastest internet available now. KXY 4 Sally Showman is live tonight at Riverfront Park. And Sally, tonight Spokane is attempting a stunt of its own. Yes, uh, Spokane is attempting a stunt here. Flash Mob is planned for 5.30 here at Riverfront Park. We're right near the clock tower. You can see some organizers over there getting things set for the day. So what is a flash mob? According to Wikipedia, it's a large group of people who assemble suddenly in a public place, perform an unusual act for a brief time, and then quickly disperse. Now, the application to apply to Google for this fiber internet is Friday, and they're hoping that this stunt uh, makes us stand out among stiff competition. Why not Spokane? If Google is the scorekeeper and we're competing for creativity points, Spokane could use a boost. We're here today to woo Google to Spokane. Yes, we have a seven-minute video hosted by this guy. That's right, woo, as in court flatter and otherwise entice Google. Then there's the Facebook page with about 6,500 fans. Hey Google, pick Spokane. And finally, a riveting resolution at this week's city council meeting. Resolution in support of the city of Spokane's application to the Google Fiber for Communities project. But compare that with this. Two thousand people formed a human chain spelling out Google in Greenville, South Carolina. People are going crazy with this. Sarasota's mayor swam with sharks. Topeka, Kansas has renamed itself Google Kansas temporarily. Well, Spokane can do this. Spokane can be the place. But why do we care so much about getting fiber internet to our homes? The ability to transfer a gig per second uh, is just unheard of. Self-proclaimed computer geek John Mayoski says the speed would mean instant song and video downloads. You would essentially be able to download the entire Library of Congress in a well, roughly a day and a half, two days. And all installation expenses would be covered by Google. There are some estimates that this is going to potentially cost up to $4,000 per home to deliver uh, Google Fiber service. All the more reason to pull out all the stops, Spokane. Heck, this swimming mayor has nothing on our rapping mayor. No word if she'll bust a rhyme for the cause. I have only one thing to add. On behalf of our people, Google, pick Spokane. So Google is looking for a city with a population of 50,000 to 500,000. And as part of the application, there's a technical part and there's a community support part. So they're hoping that today the turnout hopes to show Google that a lot of people want their fiber and internet here in Spokane. Again, it starts at 530 here at Riverfront Park. Live in Riverfront Park, Sally Shellman, KXLY4 HD News.